Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a power supply from Gigabyte. This is the P650SS Ice Edition, as you can probably tell by the colour. This actually comes in both varieties, so you get the white version, and also there's a black version. And strangely, at the moment, at the time of recording, which is towards the end of October 2025, the white version is actually a little bit cheaper about 10% cheaper than the black version. So depending on where you're shopping, of course, that is gonna make a difference, but don't worry, I'll put some affiliated links in the video description and uh, you should be able to find this at a pretty good price. Generally here in the UK, it retails for kind of 40 pounds or less, potentially a little bit more if you include postage, depending on where you're shipping from. But yeah, I think this is actually a pretty decent choice. And for those of you wondering, like why would you be looking at a budget power supply? This one's actually got an unusual feature in the fact that it is a silver rated power supply. When did you last see a silver rated power supply on the market? It's been a very, very long time. Now this comes down to mostly the differences between the bronze level versions and also the gold levels. Kind of, there wasn't really that much in between them, but now as technology has improved, capacitors have improved and basically availability of components has improved, now we can get some silver rated power supplies. Now the difference isn't very much. We're still looking at around about 90% efficiency, which is obviously slightly better. It's not great, but it's slightly better. And this one I should say as well, also does appear to be only available in the 230 volt region. So kind of EU type stockists, but you may find it elsewhere as well. I don't think this is gonna be available in the US, but if there is any availability, well again, we'll put some links in the video description so you can pick it up from yourself. So this is an ATX 3.1 compatible power supply, or ATX 3.0, depending on which way you look at it. So we'll support up to 200% power excursions, uh, part of the ATX 3.1 certification. And actually, I have seen this in test by a professional, and they got this up to somewhere around 800 watt load sustained until it actually tripped out. So yeah, potentially, if you're looking at this and thinking, well, yeah, it's not really what I'm after. Is it going to power my components? I've actually seen this running with a Intel 285K, which can draw a ridiculous amount of power. And that system also had an RTX 3090 in it as well, both under load and it managed the task. Although after a while it did actually trip out, but that just goes to show that Gigabyte have sorted out their power management and also their thermal protections, which uh, some of you are bound to put in the comment section below about. Gigabyte power supplies and their previous history of certain ones going up in smoke. It looks like that is somewhat under control with this newer design. Anyway, that's enough rabbiting. So in today's video, this is just a, a simple unboxing and an overview. So we'll take a look at the power supply, see what you get, see the specs, etc. Also some noise tests of the fans, because that to me is very important and potentially to some of you it is as well. Like if you're playing games with your headphones on, clearly you don't care, but there are some people like myself who maybe are video editors or just like a nice serene environment to work in. So you want your power supply and also your other components to be nice and quiet. And spoiler alert, yeah, this is pretty darn quiet. So first of all, taking a look at the packaging. So yeah, very simple packaging. They haven't spent any money on this at all, really. So this is a Gigabyte P650SS Ice Edition. Power supply is 80 plus silver rated for 230 volt EU regions. Also has a 120 mil silent fan, a single 12 volt high power rail, and is ATX 3.1 compliant. On the back of the box, it goes over some of the key features, such as the ice white aesthetics, the 80 plus silver, as we've already mentioned numerous times, ATX 3.1, we've mentioned already, the 120 mil dynamic fluid bearing fan, also the flat cable design, which we haven't seen quite yet, and also the powerful single 12 volt rail, and also the protections we've got here, such as over voltage, over power, short circuit, under voltage, over current protection, and over temperature protection. And if that isn't enough, it also has active power factor correction as well. And it's got a pretty decent rail on the 12 volts. So you're looking at, I think it's 54.1 amps. So they're giving you somewhere around about 649 point something watts, which is, yeah, basically the 650 watts that they put on the ticket here. Obviously the five volt and 3.0 three rails also give out around about 100 watts as well if not more so yeah it's a reasonably decent power supply for the money also something of interest if you are planning to purchase one of these and you're thinking of longevity it has a lifetime span of a hundred thousand hours which is quite a long time and if that isn't good enough it also comes with a three-year warranty which is slightly unusual generally these kind of cheaper power supplies come with 
a one year warranty, two years if you're lucky, but three years is somewhat unusual. So yeah, that's quite a nice thing to see. And talking of nice things to see, obviously being it is in this nice white aesthetic, uh, yeah, it's not too bad at all. And it actually should fit in with most kind of builds. You've got very minimal branding on the sides, which is uh, yeah, absolutely fine. On the back, just a power switch and also your power input. Uh, it does come with a cable, obviously, to plug it in. So that comes with a nice white cable. You also get some white cable ties, and also there's a set of screws to attach it to your PC case. And it comes with a very brief user manual. Overall, though, I think this looks really good. You've got a nice grill design there, very minimal gigabyte branding on there. And again, white fan inside there. They could have cheaped out and just gone with a plain black one in there. But yeah, they've gone for the kind of the all white look, which is pretty good. Also on the top, you've got a big sticker giving you all of your specs and wattages, etc. And also nice to see the uh, 80 plus silver rating on here. That is, uh, yeah, something I don't think I've actually owned a silver power supply, possibly ever. So yeah, it's quite nice to see that. And if you're maybe looking for a power supply and you're thinking, well, what is this going to be better than? So obviously it's going to be better than the CX650 from Corsair, which we reviewed a little while back, which is basically a CV650 in disguise. So that one has had kind of shrinkflation, whereas this actually is kind of come up a level, which is, uh, yeah, again, a slightly unusual thing to see. And this actually is going to be cheaper as well. So you might save yourself some money, get arguably a better power supply, and you can also get it in white, which Corsair don't do for the CX range. So let's talk about the cabling. So cabling, as you can see here, so it's nice flat cabling. And if we take a look at the individual cables, so first of all, we've got the 20 stroke 24 pin, so your main power. This one comes in at 600 mil in length and also it's all split cable, so quite nice and easy to cable manage. Next up, we've got our CPU or EPS connection. So this one actually has two connections on there. And I thought, yeah, they are both split as well. So two four plus fours, clearly marked up as being for CPU. And this one is 650 mil from the power supply to the first cable. Then you've got 120 mil between the additional two. So if you want to daisy chain them into your board, you certainly can do. Next up, we've got our graphics card connection. So we don't have any 12 volt high power on this, as you probably understand at this price point. But you do have two individual cables and they're not daisy chained either. So you've only got two plugs on there, which I think is going to be fine for most graphics cards these days. Now, of course, this obviously is going to be somewhat of a limitation for some people, but it's quite rare these days to see a graphics card with triple connectors. And really, if you're using a graphics card with triple connectors, you probably should get yourself a higher wattage power supply, because clearly that is sucking back a ton of juice. But for most people, a single 8 pin is going to be great, maybe a 8 plus 6 or 8 plus 8. So yeah, I think this does uh, particularly well for the price point and for the target market. And last of all, we've got our accessory and peripheral connections. So you've got two cables of which there are four connections on each cable, two of which on one are PATA or parallel ATA, and the other two are SATA. On the other cable, you've got three SATA and one parallel ATA. And these ones come in at 500 mil in length, and then you've got an additional 120 between each individual connector. So there we go, there is a quick look at the Gigabyte P650SS Ice Edition. And actually, let's uh, take a quick listen to what it's like. So you've obviously seen what it's like, let's take a listen, and I'll give you some of the noise tests. So yeah, that's what it sounds like, and yeah, totally acceptable. It's not particularly noisy. Now, it is a thermally controlled fan, so obviously as things do heat up and there's more power drain on the system, then it is going to get louder. For me, generally, it's the kind of the idle characteristics which bother me the most, because when I'm gaming, I don't really care about the fans ramping up, but when I just want to have a nice serene environment, nice and quiet, yeah, this is going to be absolutely fine. So there you go. That is the Gigabyte P650SS and also obviously the P650SS Ice Edition. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty decent power supply. I bought one, obviously. This has come out of my own money. Actually, me and Dave actually bought two, one each, so we could split the postage, even though the postage was only like £4 or something. But anyway, every little helps, as it does when you buy yourself nice cheap power supplies, which have actually seemingly pretty decent specs. So anyway, there you go. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments section. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.